in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this problem if you ever have it. If you ever have water in your fuel, I'm gonna show you how you fix that problem. So stay tuned. What's up, Level Up family? I'm back here with another video for you guys. I've been having this problem with the truck lately and it's starting to be annoying. So anytime I go through a problem or anything, you know, I'm documenting my journey through this trucking industry. So I'm always going to make a video so that you guys can learn from my mistakes or, you know, you just learn from the problems that I go through and just to help you guys if y'all ever had this problem. So I got recently I got my PM done and after getting the PM done, uh, my truck wouldn't stay running because it kept saying that it had fuel, it had water in the fuel system. So the sensors kept shutting the truck off. And while I was at the shop, you know, they worked on it and they ended up getting the water out of it. And I was able to drive home and once I drove home, as soon as I got home, back down to my trailer, it immediately it shut off again. So they ended up coming back out and they dumped some more, dumped the system again. And I thought I was good. I ran for about a good week and a half. And just yesterday, after I got unloaded, they told me I was empty. I went to start the truck. Boom. Water in the fuel again. So it automatically went straight into shutdown mode. So it was, it was enough time for me to be able to get off the door and then go park somewhere. So I went, I did that and they told me, the shop told me if it ever happens, you know, call them out or I could just go ahead and just do these steps. So I went in, I did them steps and I ended up getting the water out the system and prompt the truck, got the truck back started and I was able to make it home. So I'm making this video so that I could teach you guys how to get the water out of your fuel if you had that same situation or same type of problem that I'm having. So let's go. Let me show you under the hood where we got to start at. All right, so I have, by the way, I have a 2017 Freightliner Cascadia, which my truck did not come, as you can see, with the water separator. Most trucks will probably have a separate water separator somewhere around in this area. Or I have seen on some trucks, depending on what model, it's on this side somewhere. But as you can see, my truck doesn't have that water separator. So this is the fuel filter and it's, it's real quick. It's easy, but it's a pain, but it's definitely doable and it will save you a lot of money, especially if you broke down on the side of the road or you somewhere, you don't gotta call roadside. You can just do it yourself. I did it myself, so I'm making a video so that I could teach you guys. Now, now we're right here, and this is only if you you have a truck like mine that's set up that doesn't have the water separator. Now, you'll follow it all the way down to right here right at the bottom of it of your filter this pin let me zoom in for y'all right there this pin right here you pull out and then this knob right here you would just turn it to the left turn it turn it that way to the left and this align But this line, it just runs right down to the bottom of the truck. Oh, there you go. Boom. Right there. So what you would do is you will turn this knob, turn it to the left a little bit, and you will start seeing the fluid leak out. You will start seeing it leak out on the floor, on the ground. So now this is getting the water that's in the bottom of your filter is getting that out. So you would just keep it turned left, let it keep running out, let it keep running out, you know, 
these were supposed to have like a light green color to it just keep letting it run out you're going to smell the scent of it because i was just watching it and i'm looking at it and it was kind of like clear like a cloudy clear water that was coming out and it was running out and then once i started seeing the diesel i instantly smelt the diesel so once you see the diesel start coming out then you come right back you come right back to it and then you twist that all the way to the right you tighten it and come on focus there we go you twist it all the way to the right and then you make sure you put your pin back don't lose that pin need that pin so when you take it out make sure you keep it somewhere where you're not going to lose it because you need to put that back in there when you're done so once you're done tightening it you put the pin back and on to the hard part now it's this pump right here you got to reprime your truck now unless you have one of the tanks that you can hook up to your line right here and sit it on the ground and then you can just pump it and that will help prime the truck if you don't have one of them then you're my friend you're going to be just like i was this top right here you would just untwist this top and once you untwist it it pulls up and you gotta pump it pump it you just keep pumping it like that now i done seen some videos and some people say you just pump it 50 to 100 times i can tell you right now that's not that's a lie that is not enough i literally pumped that at least a thousand times i lied to you not at least a thousand times i got up i counted up to i want to say i did them like 100 to 200 at a time jumped in the truck you know you turn it to the on position you hear all the clicks and everything let the truck try to prime itself and then you start it and if it don't crank over you got to come back out and pump it but just to save you that hassle you you just you pump it pump it pump it pump it and pump it like it's no joke i'm telling you i pumped at least a thousand times so if you just pump it and you count to a thousand you should be able to jump right in the truck and it should fire straight up if you can pump it less than that and it starts straight up that's perfect good for you but for me it was at least almost like a thousand times of of me pumping you just gotta you just gotta pump it pump it like you got beat it like it stole some money from me just get up there i don't know how me i'm a kind of a small guy so i stood on top of the tire and leaned leaned on here and was just pumping switching both hands you know the whatever you got to do you just got to pump it and jump back in the truck and try to start it and if it turns over you good and that's how you will get your water out of your system drain it out of your system so hopefully y'all guys don't have to deal with this problem like i had to but if you do have to deal with this problem that's the easiest and quickest way of fixing it and it will help you and it will save you a lot of money i called roadside assistance and i talked to a couple i called two roadside assistants talked to them and they told me the same exact thing they said just keep pumping it you did exactly what you're supposed to do and if i come out you know they just going to do the same exact thing that I did and they're going to have to charge me. So they said it's best to just keep pumping it. It's going to eventually start. So there y'all go. Easy fix. But like I said, hopefully y'all don't have to do that. But if y'all do, there you go. Easy hopefully fix. Hopefully y'all like this video and hopefully this video was very helpful for you guys. If y'all have this problem and it works, just shoot me down a comment down below. Let me know that it helped you out. And if you know anyone that needs help or can benefit off of this video, Please don't hesitate to send it to him. And y'all stay safe out there and I catch y'all at the next video.